a lot of roots in here. There used to be trees before the parking lot was made and that trees were torn out. Here we go, this could be cool. I've never dug one of these. I'm in Leeds, North Dakota, staying on a parking lot. Although many years ago, this was the Godfrey Johnson residence. I got permission to poke around and excavate the grounds, hopefully find some remnants from the old times. We'll see how it goes. This was a big parking lot to work. Luckily the gravel wasn't too hard packed. Over here, kicked some marks in the ground where we believe three old outhouse pits are. We'll get these opened up and see what's going on. There should be a good range of years here, so it should get interesting. Down past the gravel and cap layer, getting into some trash, some ironstone fragments, broken milk bottle it's from Duluth, Minnesota. Everything here is World War One era. We have a piece on the way out here. Looks like some kind of slip glazed maybe crock, a beater crock. These were for mixing ingredients way back when. Looks like there's some glass piece. Hmm. Early machine made jar, food jar of some sort. Hmm. Cool, we're on the right track. Let's pull up this piece of china. It's the Homer Laughlin Hudson pattern. Likely a standard piece of dinnerware of the day. Down here, there's a few pieces on the way up. I've been slowing down, scooping with this plastic scooper. There was, yeah, here it is. Little top pharmacy bottle. This is pre World War One now. The age is definitely getting better. There's some ironstone fragments. Stoneware fragments on the way out here. Oh! Another plate. Doesn't look like there's a maker's mark on it. There was. Yeah, some slip glazed jug pieces, crock pieces. Definitely a household pit. I mentioned earlier these were for mixing ingredients for meals, desserts. Huh. A teacup to go with that plate. Peace out next. Huh. See if there's anything in it. Standard beater crop, slip ways. There's a few pieces of this wall over here. Up. Some kind of a beer or soda. Oh. Slap.
classic ketchup bottle. Machine made. And the Catless Strong Shoulder Mason. Down roughly three and a half feet. Notice there's a couple pieces that show themselves. One here, one here. This has some iridescence on it. This ground is just really loose down here. Looks like some kind of extract bottle. BPW Company. Hmm. It's a tooled top. We're going to a paper label here way back when. Let's see what's going on here. This one's wedged. Looks like there's a barrel hoop on top of it. I'll be able to pull it out though. a big old condiment bottle, likely ketchup of some sort. Hmm. Early machine made, World War One era. Soda bottle. Whoa, that thing is super lightly embossed. Devil's Lake Bottling Works. <laughs> completely intact crock here. Another Homer Laughlin plate. Let's see. Oh wow, it's intact. Beater crock. Slip glazed. Ow. Something here in this wall. Looks like a beer bottle. Early machine made beer. Fitger from Duluth. Right, now in this other corner. Ketchup bottle. Machine made. Sometimes these have the company on the bottom. Oh yeah, Heinz Company. The same company that's still in business today. This one's filled with groundwater though. Looks like a round bottle, maybe a beer or soda. Beer. Really machine made pre prohibition. Early machine made. Well, it says something along the bottom. Minneapolis. Purity Brewing Company, Minneapolis. I've never dug one of these. Yeah, early machine made. Cool. Hmm. What kind of china piece? A oh, pitcher. Well, wow. handle's missing, but mostly intact. What's that say? E R R Company. Juniata. Can Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. It's also. Looked intact, okay, it's chipped. 
Made in Japan. Sometimes these things are super ornate. Hmm. Looks like a couple canning jars and a beer or a soda. Let's find out. It's a beer. Early machine made. Nothing home on it. Would have had a paper label. These canning jars. This one looks damaged. Pull this out first, I guess. Ball Mason. That's an older style, circa 1905, maybe 1910. This next one looks intact. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ball. Again, this one's 1905-1910. Broken perfume bottle. These things are hard to break. This must have fallen out of a cabinet into a sink or something. Or the cork was stuck and they knocked the top off. Better age though. Feels like there's something further down here. I'd hit with a shovel. Looks like another bottle. Hmm. Paneled. Is it ketchup? It's ketchup. Machine made ketchup. Huh. I think we're nearing bottom, about five feet down. This jelly jar came out, machine made. There's a couple other things I've been cleaning out. One could be a lantern right here, and the other one could be a beer bottle. Let's see if I can get this lantern out first. Oh, and there's another one. Let's see. glass mixing bowl. Machine glass. Alright, that looks like there's two bottles, possibly beer bottles. Top whiskey. Um, early machine made. Filled with groundwater. No writing. Let's get the beer bottle out. Machine made whiskey. No writing. No mystery solved. This looks like a little pill bottle. And tool top pharmacy bottle. Sometimes these have the Style on the bottom. Aseptic, I believe. Little ketchup bottle. H.J. Heinz Company. Some kind of condiment container. Relish, maybe pickles. Then over here, maybe a beer bottle. A 
or a whiskey. Machine made whiskey bottle. All right, yeah, they're right in here. One there. One there. Another food bottle, cork top. This might be broken. Here, glass grinder. Intact. Oh, yeah, classic. This part of the country, Watkins. They sold all kinds of stuff. What kind of top is on this thing? That is a tooled top. Awesome. I saw one more. Clear these roots out. That's unusual. Looks like a tooled top. Hmm. Some kind of condiment container. Cool shape. Some kind of glass pitcher or something right here. Cut glass, possibly. See all these undigested seeds in the outhouse. Use layer. Looks like there's another one. This might be a liquor flask. A tooled top liquor flask. Some newspaper stuck to it. They used to use newspaper. It was toilet paper back in the day. Hmm. Now, what's going on with this piece? Wow, that has a nice pattern. broken must have been why they threw it out all those years ago but still would display well I have no idea what this one could be oh maybe it's another one of those huh you're a Durkee and company Salad dressing, okay. These are salad dressing bottles. Looks like a tooled top. Hmm. It says something on bottom. Bottle patented April 17th, 1877. There you have it. Working my way down. It's like three bottles. Maybe a couple of whiskeys and salad dressing. We'll see soon enough. Yeah, tool top whiskey. Drugstore bottle. Cool. Tool top.
another salad dressing. ER Durkee and Company. Salad dressing, New York. This should be the patent bottom. Yeah, patented April 17th, 1877. Working my way across bottom. About six feet down, found this ketchup bottle, machine made. And there's some more pieces in here. Looks like maybe a beer. There's something sticking out here. It's a little pill bottle. A beer. AB Company, this probably has a tooled top. Yep. Tooled top beer. And. A lot of ruts in here. There used to be trees before the parking lot was torn. Or parking lot was made and that trees were torn out. Here we go, this could be cool. <laughs> Another pitcher. Fairly plain. Homer Laughlin. Just picking my way through this trash layer. It's kind of broken windows and uh, some kind of round bottle. Looks like stuck out. It's a Machine made whiskey bottle. Working through the bottom corner, there's four pieces on the way out. One, two, three, four. This looks like a wine bottle, possibly. Feels like there's some other pieces in here also. Wine bottle. Tool top. All right, these two are kind of wedged in, so. Best I can here. Coffee cup. Ironstone. Chipped. Why they threw it out. Salad dressing is a popular product in this house. Another wine bottle. This one has some nice iridescence. Likely English made. Has an applied top. Could be vintage, I suppose. Predates some of the stuff in the pit. And over here, you can already tell, this is gonna be another salad dressing. Really wish I would've knew what this stuff tasted like. Must've been great. Found four or five of these in here so far. Working across the edge and found out it actually widens out towards the bottom, but I'll get to that in a minute. There's... Looks to be a liquor flask on the way out. Oh yeah. 
jeweled top liquor flask. Nice. And this has something else over here. Top to a wine bottle. And drugstore bottle. Another wine. Hmm. I felt something in here. That's another little drugstore bottle. Tool top. Yeah. That corner is done. I'll finish this pit up. What's in the final corner? I was picking around with a two-prong pitchfork. Felt something. Okay, it's a little ink bottle. Machine made. Oh, well, that's it. Well, yeah, confirmed the pit's done. It was six feet deep, five feet long, three feet wide. Here's the most of the hall. We've got some liquor bottles here, an extract bottle, three drugstore bottles, mason jar, an ink, salad dressings, some wine bottles, beer bottles, some beater crocs, dinnerware, glassware. Devil's Lake soda bottle, medicine, Watkins bottle, could be an extract, some food containers, and some ketchup bottles. We'll get it filled back in.